You're one of us, Don. Same really here. We are the Soul Brothers. What up, back in it with a little list for you guys. Uh, low Tops. We're a big fan of Low Tops for sure. Yes. Um, let's get into a list of some of the best Low Top hoop shoes you can get. If you don't like feeling, you know, restricted in your ankle movements from a higher mid, then these shoes are, you know, great, great performers uh, as Low Tops, Low Top basketball shoes. If you guys want to cop any of these, we'll leave links below. But let's get it started with the Hover Habit Low. Yeah, excellent traction, pretty good uh, cushion, decent amount of impact protection, great support, and uh, you know lateral containment. So that's not a bad shoe, and it's pretty cheap as well. I think it was one ten. Yes. Uh, there's a mid version as well, but we like the low. Yes. Our next shoe is the Jumpman Hustle. Mm hmm. Uh, very similar to the Havoc. Um, it, pretty much as far as every category goes, even price. You know, I think it looks a little bit better aesthetically though than the Havoc, but uh, yeah, crazy traction. Cushion's not bad either, and, and the support is there for sure. Yes. All right, moving on to the next shoe is the Kobe 360. Mm -hmm. It's a little old, I guess, but you can still get it. Yeah, so. you can still get it. They're still readily available. Crazy shoe. I mean, if you're talking low, it's one of the most minimal feeling shoes you can you can put on a lot of times when I grab a low, it's I, I want to feel uh, I want to have a minimal shoe on my foot. Yes. And that shoe is just a whole nother level of minimal. So um, yeah, definitely one of the better lows. Uh, you think they're gonna hit the outlets? Yeah. What if they're they're like eighty bucks, dude? Dude. <laughs> oh, that, I'm waiting. I'm gonna be there waiting, crazy, salivating, bro. I feel like if you go to like Foot Locker, no one sells anything because it's so expensive, two hundred yeah. bucks. So yeah. I think. We're gonna start seeing them at the outlet yeah, soon. Yeah, they're way too expensive. For a good price, and the Exodus is out as well. So mm -hmm. I don't know, but two hundred dollars shoe. If they don't sell it, yeah, we might. But yeah. anyways, next shoe is the Nike Kyrie Low. Mm -hmm. Kyrie Low traction is really good. I love that outer curvature as well. You need you need to break in the traction for a little bit, but it's it's a great performer uh, as far as traction goes. Cushion, it's I. You know, it's a little stiff, but it's more mostly responsive. It also looks dope, only 110 bucks, so there is that. Next shoe is the Kobe Exodus. Or the Kobe AD. Or the AD or whatever. It's just the new it. AD. Yeah, I, I really, really like that shoe, but traction on dust is just horrendous. Man, like, yeah. even if I wipe, I can't get a good stop. Um, so, I don't know, man. I broke it in, played in it. It, it, traction is amazing when it's clean, but like w once there's a dusty day, it's just horrendous. I, I can't blame it. So just watch out for dust. But other than that, cushion's great. Impact protection is good, but court feel is good in the forefoot. Um, traction's good on clean, like clean court side, right? Um, and the materials aren't bad. I don't really like the shit mesh, but it gets the job done and uh, it's supportive. It looks awesome as well. So there's that. Moving on to the next shoe is the Adidas Pro Bouncing. Mm. So uh, traction is phenomenal. I love the bounce cushion, Mo mostly responsive, but impact protection is not bad. Materials are also also really good. With it's it's more of like a it's, it's like a knit, I guess slash mesh type of material. Like it looks like a mesh, but it's mostly a knit and it's like, like a it has like those forged fibers. Yeah. So, but overall. Very cheap and really good performing shoe. The low is I think only like 120, 110 bucks, something like that. So um, yeah, can't go wrong. Uh, doesn't it's not the coolest looking shoe, but there are some cool colorways. Uh, I think like what do you call it? Donovan Mitchell has one. Yeah, there's some dope colorways. Yeah, Jalen Brown has one. There's like a lot of different colorways yeah, too. Yeah, the the colorways are pretty dope, but the overall silhouette, so yeah. silhouette, I don't really like, think it looks super dope. But anyways, there's that. Last but not least is my favorite of the shoe this year, and yeah, it's the Harden Volume 3. Ooh. You guys know. Uh, if you guys want just a great performer overall, I recommend it for any position. Um, get the Harden Volume 3. It is a little expensive, though, 140 bucks, and then the one with the black boots is $20 more. Yeah, 160 Isn't that weird? Yeah. That's weird. Why? Last yeah. year it was only $10 more, now it's, only now it's like $20, which is a lot. Yeah. Um, and if you add ten more dollars, then you can do like a Nike ID. You know, Nike IDs, like what? No, Nike you IDs only twenty dollars. No, but like what I'm saying is like Nike ID compared oh, to like right. you know like the Kyrie Four and the Kyrie Four IDs yeah. is only twenty dollar. Is a twenty dollar difference. Yeah. So, 
anyways, but yeah, Hard Volume 3, amazing performer. Uh, can't recommend that shoot enough. And for Donnie Boy, what? The Hustles? Uh, the Hustles or the 360, the aside 360? from the price and the durability. Yeah. But those are our topics, just yeah. the shoes that we just mentioned. But anyways, those are the top performing low top shoes as of right now. Uh, hope you helped you guys out. I'm going to see you guys next time. Later. Peace.